Changyo, Revelations chapter 7, verse 4. Re reading the scripture first, quote, And I heard the number of them which were sealed, unquote. Changyo's exposition of the entire Bible, quote, And therefore could be sure of the exact number, which did not depend upon a sight in telling them in which some mistake might have been made, but he heard the number expressed, unquote. Scripture, quote, and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand, unquote. John Gale, quote, which is a square number arising from twelve, the square root of it being just twelve times twelve thousand, and de denote their being the true and genuine offspring of the twelve apostles of the Lamb, holding their doctrines and being built on their foundation. See Revelations chapter 21, verse 14, reading from the King James Bible, quote, And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb, unquote. And these were, unquote, Scripture, quote, Of all the tribes of the children of Israel, unquote, John Gill, quote, Not that these were all Jews in a literal sense, for the time of their conversion in great numbers is not yet come. Dr. Goodwin thinks these sealed ones designed the believers of the Greek and Armenian churches, and his reason are not despicable, but this is to limit and restrain them to a particular part of the Church of Christ, whereas they take in all the saints within this long track of time, even all that are the true Israel of God who are Jews inwardly, and of what nation, kindred, tongue, and people soever, and is a certain determined number, for an uncertain and indeterminate one, and only intends a large number of persons known to God and Christ. See the Apocrypha, 2 Ezra, chapter 2, verse 38, reading from the King James Bible, quote, Arise up and stand, behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord, unquote. And in John Gill, Revelation chapter 7, verse 4.